Monday. Oh, I found my hair tie. I was looking for this. Guys, look at the bags under my eyes. I've never had bags this big under my eyes before. Um, I just got up. My voice is a little hoarse and my bags are like this because I literally couldn't fall asleep till 2 a.m. last night for no reason. And I had nightmares, really bad nightmares about, you know, being trapped in a house and it not being able to lock and people trying to break in and kill us and in my dreams consistently for my whole entire life. Nightmares, I will say, not dreams. I consistently like can't lock the doors to the house, whatever house I'm in and whatever nightmare I'm having. Does that mean something? I don't know. One of the crazy killers in my dream last night. <laughs> With this on, this will probably be the first outfit of the day. <sighs> Hello. Hello guys, so I just got back from getting a water. I sadly don't have my reusable water, but I'm just gonna like reuse this for the rest of the trip. The problem is Morgan's sick and we've been like sharing water bottles, I think, and I'm not really feeling my best, but I got a coffee and a croissant bon to eat. Um, but yeah, I guess I just wanted to like sit down and chat the shit, chit the chat. Let's have a bite. Mm. I'm so tired, but I'm really feeling good. Like I'm kind of feeling like a little physically ill, but honestly, I went to bed last night. I think part of the reason I couldn't sleep last night is honestly because I was so happy. I posted something on my Instagram story. I'll read it to you guys. Where's my phone? Here it is. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Macy Lenny, I will link it down below. This kind of encapsulates how I feel about this trip, okay. Ugh. I posted this last night. I was being a sap tree in bed. I said, today was pretty perfect. My anxiety doesn't do well when I'm out of my normal routine, and I've honestly let that hinder things I choose to do and say in my life. This trip was kind of like my first opportunity to show myself who is the fucking boss and not let my anxiety hold me back from what I want. Not to be a damn sap tree, but the past few days besides getting sick, I have felt so powerful and alive. I truly believe in myself and what I bring to the table in life. And that feeling, having nothing to do with my body or food is filling me with so much emotion. I'm like tearing up a tad typing this. Okay, I'm done. Just wanted to share with my fave people. That kind of encapsulates how I truly feel. This trip I was really anxious about going on um, because my entire life I really have let my anxiety get in the way and ever since I walked kind of onto the plane at LAX I just decided like I wasn't gonna let my anxiety hold me back and I know that's so much easier said than done and obviously it takes therapy it takes medication um, different things for different people obviously but it comes to a point especially with me where I've been really working on um, my recovery and healing and just things like that over the past couple years um, it really comes to a point and I think I'm at that point now where you kind of have to like push yourself out of the comfort zone even of your own kind of like recovery and like not even just eating disorder recovery but like just trying to handle anxiety and depression better and not let it handle me I want to handle it not have it have a handle on me and I think that's really important to talk about because I have always been someone that's really tr fake it till you make it and I try I've always done that I've always put myself out of my comfort zone for the things that I want I try to I try to so hard I mean even in high school like it's like I've always known I wanted to be on camera and I liked entertaining and I like talking to people but my anxiety would tell me like you don't look good enough you're not good enough you're not good enough but I would force myself onto the TV in high school I would force myself onto my YouTube channel and I'm just really ready to completely run with that and when I did the 
comedy, the Hot Mess Comedy podcast on Friday, I felt for the first time like I was just fully embracing who I am and what I bring to the table and not holding a damn thing back and not thinking about what anyone else will think of me. And that's really what it comes down to is living your life for you and not for your sister or your brother or your mother or your neighbor or what your friends think or anything like that. It's about what you think about you and your life and no one should be, you know, living their life to make other people happy. It's to make you happy, so. I'm gonna get to work for a little bit. I'm gonna edit um, this video and get it up for you guys. The first New York vlog and eat my croissant tea, probably on the couch right here. And then I'm going to head over to Grand Central at like, I'm gonna trade like a noon train and I'm going to go to New Haven and see my Yaya who I haven't seen in so long. If you don't know, Yaya means grandma in Greek and I'm really excited. Also look at this drawing that one of you guys did for me. Her account is take it, take it from dot Mimi. She's a graphic design student and she made like my Instagram pictures. Look at that. Like that's literally the blazer I had on yesterday, like my little Fendi bag and my shoes and my latex pants. Like, and it says shimmy and shake and be your fabulous self. Let's all just put out into the universe that this channel grows so I can make um, something that says shimmy and shake and be your fabulous self on it because I would love nothing more. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna call my mom probably. Okay, so it's pretty warm outside today. So this is gonna just be what I wear on the train to New Haven. And then I brought like a slip dress in my bag. I'm not bringing this bag with me. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm just, gonna bring this with like a little bit of clothes so I go off to the subway and then I go off to the to the train taking the subway to Grand Central yay <laughs> I haven't been to Grand Central in a minute but it's always lit as hell So this, I've never had this. Guys, look at all these pictures. There's my dad. Oh my gosh, Catherine, Lexi, me. Oh my gosh, it's my dad's brother. There's my at the Olympics in Greece. And then we're gonna go to my room, which is right here. So I just got to New Haven and had lunch with my yacht and Dimitri, and now I am going to get the Wi Fi and stuff. This is my room. She's tired. I just got done editing and got up the New York day one vlog, travel with me vlog, and now I'm headed down for some damn, some damn dinner. Oh my gosh, my spray tan, my face. She's beautiful. Compliments of the chef, yeah, yeah. Ah, thank you. So good. It just looks so good. Oh, there you Wait, go. Take a picture? Okay. Oh no, I'm just videoing, you just do your oh. thing. Well, yeah, I'm right. serving something. Right. Wow, well, thank you. And, uh, the best things. And, and oh, this should be That's nice. It. Perfect. Yeah. You want some, some of that nice juice. This is all lemon. And yeah. Uh, you can tell your sister that this is a lemon and olive oil. Yes. That her yaya cooks with lemon. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Council rescue workers. Oh, I need to call them back. They won't open up to me. Okay. Look back. Oh, I'm okay, see. I can't see you anymore. Hi guys, so we got done with dinner. It was literally so, so fucking fabulous. No one can cook like a yaya can cook. It's just true facts. Um, but we were just watching Chicago Fire. I haven't never watched Chicago Fire. It's made by Dick Wolf who makes SVU and I'm like an SVU ride or die stan Olivia Benson to the max for life. Um, till the end of time. 
But Chicago Fire has like random ass people in it. Like, I literally had no idea that Steve Brady from Sex and the City was living over on NBC. Same with Chase from House. I didn't know he was living over there either. Good to know. But yeah, it's been kind of an emotional day. My Ian and I just talked family, talked things, but it's been really good to see her. I never get to see them. I literally haven't seen them since I've lived in LA. Um, so like over two years because they spend a lot of time in Greece and overseas and whatnot and then live here in Connecticut when they're not. But um, yeah, so I'm just hanging out in this room that I used to stay in, that I always stay in when I'm here. Like I love it. I just love their house so much. It's so old. It's from like, I think it was built in 1902. Um, but there's just, I'll show you guys around the house tomorrow before I leave. Tomorrow I'm going back into the city. I have a meeting at one, I think one or 1.30. And then I'm recording Headcase podcast at three. And then I'm going to dinner with my friend Steph and my friend Sophie, and I think Morgan's coming too. I've never met Steph. Steph runs the Headcase podcast, and Sophie uh, runs the blog, the fashion blog, Ying to My Yang with her sister Charlotte. I will link them down below. Yeah, I'm really excited to meet them. I've never met them in person. We're like Instagram buddies, all of us. Well, they're friends IRL, which is kind of strange um, that they are like, they're like best friends, Steph and Sophie. Uh, and I'm gonna meet them and I'm so excited. But to be honest, it's Monday night and I am very ready to go back to LA. I just love LA so much. I, I'm, I, I love New York, but like I will never move to New York. I love it so much, but like I love LA more. I love LA more. I'm tired. Morgan's been sick this whole time I've been here. So, I mean, we've slept in the same apartment the past three nights and been together constantly. So I obviously am like a little bit sick now too. And my body's just feeling kind of like this. And honestly, my anxiety is feeling like this, but I'm not letting it get me down, which is a new thing. Um, a new thing. I know we've had a lot of serious talks in these New York vlogs, but I really feel like I've been just like finding myself as like, Kind of lame sauce as that sounds, but like no feelings aren't lame sauce. That's like a defense mechanism, I think, to like to like say something emotional and like vulnerable, and then like back it up with like oh that's so lame or like corny. And I do that. I'm actually I do that. Like I always say like sorry for being a sap tree, sorry for being lame sauce, um, because I don't know. Like I didn't used to be emotionally vulnerable, and now I'm like the most emotionally vulnerable. But I love it. I love getting emotionally vulnerable with you guys. This trip's been so inspiring and I just can't wait to like get back to like making a blazing and glazed content, fire ass content when I get back from this trip. This trip's been really good. I just hope you guys are liking these videos. I'm just feeling very inspired, but it, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I've been on this like weird trip of like going all around, all, all around. I don't even know what I'm saying now. I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna like probably edit a little bit. I haven't dance partied in so long. I'm gonna dance party tomorrow morning. It's been a long time. I just realized I haven't dance party in so long. Um, but like, look at this room. Like, these just like, I love the just like antique vibes. My Yaya's house is giving me inspo for my apartment. Like, the books. Like, look at this book. Um, cutie bathroom. I just did my skincare. I just gotta tell you guys, I've been loving Glossier Bubble Wrap. It's been like my most used product on this trip for like rehydrating my face and like my lips and stuff. I love putting it on my lips. I don't normally do it like that, but. Use my link down below for 10% off. It's a good ass product. Anyway, like if you need reading material while you're on the toilet, to fill my water bottle up. Oh, the kitchen. I just love the kitchen. Do you guys, uh, do you just stand this kitchen? It's just such a Greek family kitchen. It's so cute, but I'm gonna fill my water up. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys around the house real quick because 
I can't not. So I used to put on Britney Spears and like Christina Aguilera singing and dancing shows in this room for people when I was little. Front door. Exciting Tuesday, oh, 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 TD. Um, you know, same Zara shirt, same biker shorts, same sneakies, um, yeah, and then my big ass tote. I'll have a more exciting outfit once I get into the city. I'm just gonna wear this on the train. This is like the most comfortable thing I've ever bought. show you guys in here look baby Missy baby Missy baby Missy baby Missy baby Missy look ugh yeah whatever oh my god dad and Lexi oh my god my dad looks like a literal infant like Lexi's the infant but he looks like an infant I think there's more books in this house than anywhere than any library in the world would yeah, you guys like to say hello this is your your profession <laughs> So, I am back in the city, and this is gonna be the official, possibly last day in the city, OOTD. I'm gonna go record the Headcase podcast. I'm really excited, but I'm just doing a classic Macy jeans, t-shirt, leather jacket, sneaker situation. Um, packing all my stuff up out of here because a flip turn change of events, someone that subleases this apartment is actually coming today instead of tomorrow. I got this coffee from this place I've been loving. So I think I'm actually gonna head back to Connecticut tonight. So I'm packing up all my stuff. Uh, this day's, I'm not actually exactly sure what today is, but I know that I'm going to a studio at three to record the podcast, so that's all we know for now. Will it sit up there? Can I turn this around? Or will it something unplug? Yeah. Perfect. Great. Is anything cool in here? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna cool down now. This is legit in here. I know. It's new. I've literally never been here until today. That's why I went into the wrong building. Do you like it better? I do, you? yeah. Because there's like way more rooms. I look like what rat? Can you hear me? <laughs> Perfect. Hi everyone, this is Headcase Podcast. I am here with the one and the only Maisie Eleni. Hello. Good but she's back. actually here in New York City in the flesh. Yeah, it was very conversational. Yeah, I'm trying to like flex my comedy muscles more these days. Such a good singer. Oh, that's like, okay, so I, I feel like I've been leaking that a little bit lately. Yeah, you need to like, that, that's really literally my mom. Out. She was like, I don't know why you just like lip sync your morning dance parties. You need to just sing them for real. And I'm like, ugh. Like, what do you even do? Like, I'm like, I feel like all people do is like put like cringy covers on YouTube of them singing. And I'm like, I can't do that. So now like, I've just been doing it in like weird creative ways. Yeah. I don't, I don't see being like a singer in my career path, but like if one day, like the dream, if I could just be in like a musical, would that would be the move because I would love to be in a musical. It's something that like all of kind of what I've been going through over the past two years has like brought me back to being more confident in. Yeah. Yeah, it's a state of being where I don't think about it. I definitely don't use bad language about my body. I, you know, eat what I need to eat. And I think with eating disorders, it's like you will never, maybe, I, some people will probably hate me for saying this, but I feel like you'll never not have like sometimes like a thought will happen i think it's more like if you act on that thought or not it's 100 percent and true. yes you're never gonna like look at yourself every day and be like i'm look amazing yeah no but i'll like lie and say that i do to myself yeah 
Got a little pizza action. I'm at, where are we? Urban Hall. Oh my god, introduce yourself. Hi. They know what about that. Hey, you too. Hey. Head case. And then we have the beautiful yes. Sophie. Ah, yang to my so yang. Happy. Wait, guys, the lighting in here is so kind of beautiful. beautiful. Lighting all. Fashion blogger extraordinaire. I'll have it linked down below. I'm about to post about Macy right now on my story. And Sophie's gonna start a podcast I'm start and she's gonna start vlogging. And follow me at Sophix and then at Yin to my Yang, which is my show. I'll pop it up. Do you wanna promo yourself? <laughs> Hi guys. Follow Headcase. Follow follow Headcase. Hi. Guys, I'm on the train. I'm on the train back to Connecticut. Thank God. Wait, I love this. <laughs> this is great. Be my little baby. Darling, stand by me. Stand by me. Yeah. Look at the outfits they're wearing. I love it. The <laughs> folks. With a kiss, swap in our first loves in such a fresh and positive way. This <laughs> magic moment, <laughs> yeah, nice. and hoping <laughs> are we gonna be watching this the rest of no, the day? No, no, I, I could, but <laughs> so I'm about to hit the hay, conk out on night a million of being away from home back in Connecticut. Um, I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but I was staying at Morgan's boss's apartment and someone, I did tell you who sublets it, was coming back a night early. So like I could have gotten a hotel in the city, but honestly, why is it so red? Why did I just turn into a cherry tomato? Um, honestly, I don't know. Just something about me felt like I should come back in to Connecticut and spend the night here because because my grandparents are here and I really feel like as you get older, you really start to value that more. When I got off the train, we literally sat and talked to the kitchen table about Greece and other cultures and French films and just like things. It did not interest me when I was 16 and would come here and would like lock myself up in this room and like hang out on my computer. Um, you just really appreciate it. I don't know if it's, you know, the loss of my other grandparents, my mom's parents. Um, and other family members as of recent. I don't know, I guess it just makes you really realize what's important and it felt really important for me to come back here. Um, it's like a real big part of my soul. Like, I don't know, it can get really lonely in LA, especially when you don't have, you guys know I have like a complicated family situation. It can just feel really lonely and I don't know, even though my family's weird and odd and eccentric, um, I mean, that's what I love about it at the end of the day and that's what makes me me at the end of the day. And God, I'm just, I'm going back to LA tomorrow and I'm ending this trip on a fabulous note. A fabulous note. This trip truly, I've probably said this a million times in every clip, this trip truly showed me what I'm capable of. Um, Cause totally things went wrong. Things I didn't even tell you guys about and whatever. And But things also went extremely right. Things went extremely more right than I even expected them to go. And I've never felt more in my life like I'm in the exact place that I'm supposed to be doing the exact thing I'm supposed to be doing. Just being myself to the max. And I'm just really excited to get back to LA and it sounds lame to say, get take this content to the next level. But honestly, just take, just, just take everything to, I don't know, take everything to the next level. I don't know, look, people, I don't know, I don't know. I just am really excited to start fully believing in myself. I have been, but this trip really pushed me completely there. I love the person that I am. I truly do. I truly love the person that I am. And I respect the person that I am. And I can't wait to keep growing with the person that I am. And I know that's a really hard place to get to. I mean, trust me, like these words flowing out of my mouth. I mean, I'm literally gonna be 27 this year. Um, 
So it doesn't come overnight and it doesn't happen without immense time with yourself, at least for me, time with yourself, sitting with yourself, talking with yourself, really feeling things with yourself, not pushing things down, not not feeling things. Um, I don't know if you're watching this, you're really awesome. You're really unique and you're really amazing and you bring a lot to the table and a lot that doesn't have to do with the way that you look. I've said this a million times this week, but you know, what you look like is the least interesting thing about you. And um, I really believe that. I really believe that. There's so many things about you that are amazing. And um, if you don't see them yet, that doesn't mean they're not there. And that doesn't mean you'll never see them. And that doesn't mean they aren't shining out your booty hole. So I'm gonna hit the hay. Hopefully Tyler's gonna call me soon. This time change thing has killed us for being able to talk on the phone. I am honestly so excited for to see him tomorrow. I'm gonna have him pick me up from the airport with Shake Shack, Shake Shack, Shake Shack. Oh, I want Shake Shack so bad. There is, um, the Shake Shack in Grand Central and like I wanted it so bad when I walked by it today to go to the bathroom there But I knew I was having it today and I didn't have time to stop and I'm so excited to go in on it tomorrow Okay Peace my beautiful ass queens